Gagaria hosts a wide variety of activities covering five main zones, namely Makan Makan, Fullback Tunnel, Lifestyle, Community and Entertainment. Visitors had a chance to take a walk down memory lane through this one-of-a-kind Malaysian time capsule mini art exhibition and reminisce about the significant highlights of our beloved country all the way back from during the Medeka era to this current moment. There were live demos and tutorials on makeup, hijab styling, hair and fashion styling with performance by buskers in between. The one-day event also offers festival goers the opportunity to experience sharing sessions with a range of fascinating people, young entrepreneurs, social media celebrities and local artists among them. Video game lovers meanwhile have a chance to win 10,000 ringgit in prize money for esports games such as FIFA Online and League of Legends. Besides cooking demos, visitors also tasted among the best of Malaysian food from all 14 states, from various food trucks and stalls set up there. Various funky art installations which are some are based on iconic things that all Malaysians love like tetari as well as pati were evidenced throughout the festival. This is the platform just for us, for Media Prima to engage with the young. Uh, because we 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 going to uh, harness or utilize the entire uh, media prima assets is also the social media, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Instagram, all the promo and all the shout is all done through social social media. With fun and colorful features, Gagaria not only managed to attract the locals but foreign tourists as well. Quite nice, just that you're hoping. Maybe there's more food available, but I think the children are enjoying very much with the activities around. Yeah, with the chongka, all the sepatakro and all those things. Which I'm sure they are not exposed to it before this, so I think they're enjoying here. Although today is a rainy day, but still seeing a lot of people coming here, enjoy themselves. Like, I love that one, <laughs> the bubble. Yeah, it's like very colourful. It seems really interactive. It seems really friendly, not too sure yet, we're going to have a wee look about but it seems fun. Um, I think most of the festivals we've kind of been to has been more music but this is more, it's more fun, fresh, kind of more student -y. it's quite a good feel here, it's more fun. Not in Slango, no worries as Gagaria will also be held at two other locations. You can experience and enjoy the same fun as well as the festival. We'll move on to Johor Bahru and Kuantan on February 3rd and February 24th. Ridon Hussein reporting for 7th edition.